Willow's How Stuff Works. Chocolate Factory. Yum! I love chocolate. But how does a plant like this turn into a treat like that? Let's see how making a chocolate bar works. First, we need to find cocoa pods. They grow in warm countries. Look, there are some. And inside, there are... beans? Oh, cocoa beans! That's what we need to make chocolate. Next, we need to roast the beans. Cooking them like this makes them hard and brings out the chocolatey flavors. After roasting, the bean shells are taken off. And the beans are crushed into powder. Hey, that's cocoa powder. Now, to make chocolate bars, it's time to add sugar. Cocoa powder tastes bitter on its own. We need sugar to give chocolate its sweet taste. other ingredients, too, to change the flavor. Can you guess what is added to make milk chocolate? <laughs> milk! The heated mixture is poured into molds to make shapes and patterns. Then it's cooled and it becomes solid... chocolate bars like this! And it all started with some little cocoa beans. Delicious! Feeding time! Gorby's Sights and Sounds. The amazing chickpea! Look at these tasty chickpeas! What a glorious sight! Chickpeas are seeds that grow on plants like this. I think they're special because they can grow almost anywhere, but are really good at growing in places where the weather is very hot and dry. It's one tough little pea! And chickpeas can be used to make one of my favorite foods, hummus. Chickpeas are boiled or soaked in water like this to turn soft. Then they're smashed together with other ingredients to make a smooth, delicious paste. Whoa! Hummus is loud! <laughs> Look at all the places in the world where chickpeas grow better than other crops. And if they can grow it, then they can use it for many dishes, like making hummus. Ah, hummus and chickpeas. What a delicious sight. Mm-mm. Find the matching numbers. Willow's How Stuff Works. Popcorn. Popcorn is a snack made of corn. But how do we get from corn on plants to fluffy popcorn? Let's see how it works. Do you know what these are? They're plants growing corn on a farm. Each little piece of corn is called a kernel. There they are! But these don't look fresh and soft. They look hard. Ah, to make popcorn, they've dried the kernels. Next, we cook them in a hot pan. 
the water left inside the kernel gets hot and turns into steam. Steam takes up more space inside the kernel, and it needs to get out. And pop! The steam makes the kernel burst open. Woohoo! Yum! So, from fresh corn to dried kernels into a hot pan, then pop! That's how popcorn works. <laughs> I'm gonna pop off to get some. <laughs> Let's write popcorn. Lily's moves. Kneading dough. When you make most kinds of bread, you need to oh. <laughs> Kneading is squeezing dough to get it ready to bake. If you don't knead your dough enough, the bread will be flat. If you knead the dough too much, you could get a rock hard crust. Want to give some kneading moves a try? Let's look again at what kneading looks like. Hold your hands out like this and do a little roll. A bread roll. <laughs> K-N-E-A-D. Push, pull, stretch, and squeeze. K-N-E-A-D. Knead the dough along with me. Let's go again. Ready? K-N-E-A-D. Push, pull, stretch, and squeeze. K-N-E-A-D, knead the dough along with me. I love those moves. Come back and do them again anytime you need a knead. <laughs> Let's learn how to play. Get ready to read. Lily's Healthy World. Pasta. I love running, and I've got a big race. I wonder what's the best food to eat before a long run. Aha, pasta, of course. When you eat it, pasta releases energy slowly so it will help me run for longer. Pasta is made from flour, water, and sometimes eggs, too. The dough is squished and squashed and shaped, then cooked by boiling it in water or baking it in an oven. Pasta is made into lots of different shapes. Have you seen these ones? The different shapes have all got Italian names. Long strings called spaghetti. Flat square sheets called lasagna. Thick ribbons called tagliatelle. And so many more. All those Italian names and so many Italian pasta restaurants. But did you know that pasta was not invented in Italy? No one really knows for sure where it's from. Now I've got to get ready to run. Pasta la vista. 